So good morning, it is, what time is it, about 8.30 on Saturday. Um, nothing's going on at the land today, I will be going over later but only to um, show some people what's happened. Today I'm working on that trailer. So I have two trailers, uh, both of them are off grid ready, um, both of them can survive probably about two weeks without anything, power, water emptying the tanks anything like that but when I move on to my land at the, at the beginning I'm going to be moving in on this 20 foot trailer here uh, a few weeks ago for a month a couple of months ago um, I lent this trailer to a friend and him and his girlfriend managed to break the bed sounds like it was a good weekend um, so I've ripped the bed out and I've been changing things up inside so I'm gonna go and show you now it's dark in here so um, let's have a look so this is where the bed was it was a, a Murphy bed across here between those two cabinets and it the sofa here folded flat and the bed came down An aluminum frame of the bed all destroyed twisted mangled so um, what I've decided, because you don't need a sofa and a bed. And I have the sofa. So the sofa is gonna go flat. I'm gonna use that as my bed base. I have an inflatable mattress that goes on top of this, um, which sleeps me just fine. And that's, that's all I've got to sleep with. So me and the dogs will be just fine. Meanwhile, we can repurpose all this space behind here um and this is kind of like a blanket box i'm building um i've pulled the tops off those side cabinets and then i have this blanket box thing that that will store when during the day that will store the deflated mattress uh, any blankets anything that I, I want to just put away i'm also eventually going to put up a shelf up here um so i have like a desk area behind the sofa so when the sofa is flat i can sit at that far side of the sofa and work on my laptop or it'd be a bookshelf or just more storage because when you live in 20 feet of space more storage is better so today's project is that's the top of the blanket box and this these two pieces of wood are the tops of this is really hard to do backwards of those cabinets so I'm going to take those prime them and then paint them and then if it doesn't get too hot and I don't run out of time, uh, I will be putting support beams, anyway, sticking some support beams so that they balance on top. I want to be able to access those two cabinets from inside. Currently you can only access them from the outside and they were sealed units. Now, they, um, the lids will be able to come off them. And theoretically, because I'm only little, it could be an escape hatch. <laughs> now that's, kind of ridiculous because the time it would take for somebody to get through the door and cause me problems I'm not going to be able to squeeze my way through there and get out but I don't know if somebody locked me in my trailer which is potential uh possibility um I could still physically get out so that's you know it's nice to it's just a, plus I can access all my outdoor storage from inside so so that's the plan for today um and I think then yeah, I'll be working till about midday. That should, um, and then it'll be way too hot and I'll be pithy. So let's get some tunes playing and start. <laughs> 